Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeel. Our own ourselves with uh, good capability against any threat. We are ready for it at any time. When we prepare for war, we are preventing it. And I hope uh, we all live in peace. We are the military people, the last people who want war. At the end, this part of the world, whether it's Bahrain or the GCC country, would always be here. We can defend our ourselves with uh, good capability against any threat. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today Prince Fahad bin Abdullah Al Saud on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom to attend Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017 BIDIC. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the Bahraini Saudi relations embody the highest level of fraternity thanks to the strong relations between their leaderships and people as well as the two kingdoms shared belief in their common fate. His Royal Highness hailed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's leading role under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, in defending the issues of the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's appreciation of Saudi Arabia's supporting stances, which reflect the historic and deep rooted bilateral relations in various fields. For his part, Prince Fahad expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to bolster fraternal relations and cooperation between the two countries, hailing His Royal Highness's wise visions regarding various developments in the region. He affirmed that Bahraini-Saudi relations are based on mutual respect and the desire to develop them to meet the aspirations of both countries and their people.
The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today Pakistan's Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Zubair Mahmoud Hayat, on the occasion of his visit to the country to participate in the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference by DEC. The BDF Commander-in-Chief welcomed Pakistan's Chief of Staff, praising the development of the deep-rooted bilateral relations, especially in the field of military cooperation. He also wished to guest a pleasant stay in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting was attended by the Director of Military Security, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Inspector General Major General Abdullah Hassan Al Naimi, and Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations Major General Ghanem Ibrahim Al Fadala. I've seen a lot of companies from around the world that have come to Bahrain. Uh, certainly, Pakistan being an important friend uh, of uh, Bahrain and the GCC. We are not only having our own pavilion, but also some of our companies uh, are participating in this. Um, uh, not only in the exhibition but also in the conference. So this indicates the strong relationship that Pakistan has with Bahrain and the level of cooperation that we want to always extend to our friendly country of Bahrain. Uh, one of our senior generals will be speaking and talking about the regional dynamics of security. Um, Pakistan has a lot of experience in dealing with uh, terrorism in ensuring peace and stability for this region and we are always happy to share this experience with our friendly countries and also our allies in the region. So I'm, uh, I'm very much happy to see that this conference and exhibition has brought Bahrain into the center stage and Pakistan stands with Bahrain in this initiative. Uh, the government of Pakistan believes that uh, the stability of Bahrain and the GCC is actually the stability of Pakistan. And the stability and progress of Pakistan is indeed the st stability and progress of the GCC. We are together in every step of the way and that is a message that we want to convey to our friends here in Bahrain and the GCC countries. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today the advisor of the Supreme Commander of Yemen's Armed Forces and Yemen's representative in the Joint Forces Command, Mohammed Ali Maqdishi, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017 BIDEC. The BDF Commander-in-Chief welcomed the advisor of the Supreme Commander of Yemen's Armed Forces, commending the deep-rooted bilateral relations. He wished the guests a pleasant stay in the kingdom. The meeting was attended by the Director of Military Security, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Inspector General Major General Abdullah Hassan Al Naimi, and Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations, Major General Ghanem Ibrahim Al Fadala. In the presence of the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the opening ceremony of the Middle East Military Alliances Conference was held yesterday at the Four Seasons Hotel and attended by dignitaries from around the world. At the commencement of the conference, Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he expressed his thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his support of the BIDEC Exhibition and Conference. He stressed that Bahrain was and remains a meeting point for civilizations and cultures as the kingdom plays an active role in military alliances against terrorism. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Center for Strategic and International Studies and Energy Dirasat, chairman of the conference committee Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa said that BIDEC is an important international forum for expressing common issues. He pointed out that peace is the permanent option as well as cooperation and non-interference in internal affairs. The Islamic Counter-Terror Alliance Commander General Rahil Sharif also delivered a speech for this occasion. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa stated his pride of the patronage of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of Bahrain's International Defense Exhibition and Conference, citing it as the largest and most important of military gatherings in which topics of military alliances in the Middle East shall be discussed. He continued to state that the organization of the Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions MIMIC conference comes to lay down a solid ground to highlight the importance of military alliances and their role in creating a peaceful world. This forum is an opportunity to exchange ideas, opinions, and strategic visions of the participating alliances regionally and internationally. The BDF Commander-in-Chief stated that organizing the Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions MIMIC conference in the Kingdom highlights the importance of military coalitions and their role in creating peace. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa welcomed these speakers and the conference sessions, wishing them success and affirming that the event will earn the attendees and participants praise. 
He added that the event will also be a platform for exchanging ideas, discussing strategic visions, and suggesting various model solutions for the most important regional developments and crises with the participation of a number of military commanders and intellectuals. This is a very important first conference for alliances in the, in, in, in the area, and uh, it's, we're mainly talking about the, uh, our relationship with NATO, our, uh, the Islamic Alliance Against Terror, and the alliance to support the legitimacy in Yemen, which we are part of, uh, as well as the Islamic Alliance. This is important to hear from the people who are in, the, in, the, in, the, in those alliances, and to share ideas, and to have a common vision because we are fighting a common enemy, which is terror. Well, I think it's important because, for, first of all, I want to say that as Bell Helicopter, we've been a long-term uh, supporter, and we have a relationship with Bahrain that goes back for a long time, for decades. We have Bahrain Air Force flies our F-Model Cobras and also 212s and 412s. And so that those kind of relationships are important for everything we do. The gentleman this evening talked about the fight against uh, terrorism and how global that's become and how complicated it's become. So these gatherings with defense, contractors, business, and world leaders are very effective, and we have to be work together to connect counter this kind of terrorism. You have to have uh, joint military training and operations and uh, common military uh, systems and, and uh, jets and tanks and the ability to work together uh, to defend against potential Iranian threat. Those are the two real serious reasons, counter-terror and Iran. It's very important because uh, uh, to show it's very important to show the uh, dominance of Bahrain uh, and how it is a strategic ally in international alliances and coalitions. Uh, at the same time, uh, it shows how uh, countries of our region, including, of course, the Kingdom of Bahrain uh, at, at the head of it, uh, is very, um, you know, how to say, uh, very much uh, focused on ensuring that all the equipment for warfare, etc., is of the uh, latest innovation, the best technology out there, always striving to improve, uh, and, and that's what's very important. The Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions Conference MIMIC commenced its sessions in the presence of Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of Supreme Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference. His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa as part of the exhibition. The conference began with the discussion of regional international coalitions that have been able to eradicate most sources of terrorism. Speakers at the conference also discussed means of forming alliances and the importance of the role of conscious people to address the phenomena of terrorism. The second round of sessions of the Middle East Military Alliance and Coalition Conference starts today in the honorable presence of Royal Guard Commander, Chairman of Baidek High Organizing Committee, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, along with very unique speakers from the military field, sharing their rich experiences and addressing the biggest challenges in Bahrain and the wider region. The Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions Conference seeks to address many of the challenges facing the region and the wider global implications. Such a conference stresses Bahrain's prominence as a member of military coalitions and as a strategic partner in international alliances. Great success. We have a heavy caliber of people uh, sharing their thoughts and ideas and uh, some of their previous uh, experiences uh, due to their roles and official roles in their uh, countries. Uh, some of them are active service, some of them are retired, some of them are thinkers. Um, they all provided us a great uh, amount of uh, knowledge and information around the topics that we chose uh, today. Um, Mainly, uh, the topics we chose are the importance of military coalitions and alliances. We face a lot of problems, a lot of issues and challenges uh, ahead of us. And we live uh, in it day to day. Uh, we run operations together within a uh, within uh, four actually different uh, coalitions that Bahrain is part of it, or alliances. We, we run a coalition and alliance with the U.S., with the uh, GCC, 
and with the Islamic coalition and with the Arab coalition. Um, so Bahrain is an active role player in these coalitions and alliances. Uh, we need to learn uh, a lot of lessons. We, le we need to uh, get back uh, some, uh, some advice from uh, people. And I think this conference is absolutely catering the right uh, message uh, to everyone. During the conference, speakers examined the core issues of strategic importance within the defense industry through dedicated panel sessions. Many old friends are coming together to discuss a, a great uh, subject that is of common concern. And from this, I think many good things will flow. You know, how do you work more closely together? Where do you share understanding? All these things. So it's, it's proving to be very, very important. And I think it's very good for Bahrain uh, to be leading something that is quite clearly needed by all of us. Bahrain has always been a forward-thinking country. And I think this is evidence that it's looking beyond the momentary tactical and to think about how do alliances work and how can we make this one better. I th so I think it's very important that Bahrain is hosting this conference to begin this kind of thinking. The approach is both political and diplomatic, stressing the importance of military coalitions such as the role of NATO, UN peacekeeping operations, the Arabic coalition in Yemen and the Islamic military alliance to fight terrorism with support from the ministries of foreign affairs and militarily with the region's military experts and coalition commanders discussing real threats and solutions, stressing the importance of military coalitions operations. Nations can't deal with the challenges of protecting their own citizens and serving their national interests alone. They must work together. And to do that, they have to form organizations, coalitions, alliances, agreements. And so this morning, we're discussing a number of those. We're learning from historical experience, and we're looking at the current challenges that we face. And we've got some outstanding participation here some really experienced, capable leaders sharing their insights. The Strategic Conference Series offers a forum for knowledge sharing and addresses the biggest challenges in Bahrain and the wider region. Defense technology advancements, international coalitions counter terrorism, emerging threats and many more hot topics are being discussed today at the Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions Conference. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffour. The commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the owner of Switchblade International Limited, Lord Alexander Charles Andover of the United Kingdom. His Highness talked with Lord Andover about Bidek, where he noted that the exhibition provides an opportunity to follow up on the latest defense mechanisms and learn about the latest developments in the military field. For his part, Lord Andover affirmed that participating in Bidek reflects Britain's keenness on further developing cooperation and coordination with friendly countries and with Bahrain in particular. He praised the organization of the exhibition which reflects Bahrain's interest in promoting this major event. His, high, rather His Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the International Expert in Safety Systems and owner of Perrin 7 J. Bose of the Regional Manager of Blighter Company for Safety and Security Services, Neil Harvey. His Highness Sheikh Khalid reviewed means of reinforcing security and safety cooperation between the Royal Guard Special Force and Perrin 7 and Blighter for security and safety systems. His Highness praised both companies for their efforts to implement plans and programs that aim to reinforce the principle of safety and security in various fields, especially the military field. His Highness also affirmed that the presence of these companies is considered a great asset to benefit from the long experience it has in this field. He also noted that BIDEC grants everyone the chance to learn about state-of-the-art equipment in the field of military safety, security, and communication. Bost and Harvey expressed pleasure for attending the exhibition, which would expand their cooperation with various participating defense system exhibitors that would provide both companies advanced services in the field of security, safety, and communication. They both praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khaled in this field. The commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa received the Director of Global Sales and Marketing for Defense Space and Security, Mr. Brian Long of Boeing Aerospace Middle East Limited. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the efforts of the company 
in the field of supporting air defense with modern and advanced technologies that contribute to achieving the performance goals required by the armed forces. Mr. Long praised the great organizational level of the exhibition and the contribution of the participating government companies and military sectors. He stressed that such international exhibitions provide the opportunity for all to share and exchange experiences and also enhance the opportunity to strengthen relations and partnerships between the parties, praising the organizing committee for the preparation of this pioneering event. His Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received Business Development Manager Mr. Joey DaCosta of Airborne Systems Company. His Highness praised the company's efforts in supporting defense systems, stressing that the company is one of the leading companies with experts and professionals in the field of defense and space. For his part, Mr. DaCosta expressed his pleasure to participate in this exhibition, which contributes to the development of the company's business and opens wide horizons of cooperation with various defense systems worldwide. He also praised the outstanding organization of this exhibition, asserting that the company highly welcomes the joint cooperation with the Royal Guard Special Forces. His Highness Major General Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad also received Chief Military Officer Jimmy White and Operations Manager Garrett Boyle of the American company Alaska Structures. His Highness praised the company's 42-year history of providing defense systems. He exchanged views with the representatives of Alaska on the exhibition and its, rep rather its comprehensive approach in embracing all means of land, sea, and air defense, which gives participants the opportunity to learn about the latest technologies in the field of weapons manufacturing and the formation of military systems. Both White and Boyle expressed their thanks and gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Khaled for his efforts to support and develop the Royal Guard Special Force. They stressed that the exhibition is one of the comprehensive military exhibitions that has succeeded in attracting the world's leading companies in the field of weapons and defense systems. They went on to express their confidence that Bahrain was able through this event to establish a reputation of holding successful military exhibitions which strengthened the partnership and international alliances to counter the dangers and images of terrorism. The second day of BIDEC was packed with numerous surprises and highly skilled military demonstrations using only the best and most modern equipment. All showcased at the 11,000-square-foot 11, exhibition center here in Bahrain. More on this report with Sara Brick. On the second day of BIDIC, the enormous numbers of visitors was a confirmation for the success and progress of the exhibition in Bahrain. Uh, the, the conference, uh, as put together by uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser, has been very, very informative and beneficial. Uh, as you see from the panel today, uh, it allowed, at least from my perspective, to be able to discuss relevant maritime threats that we all face together. Uh, it allows us to examine solution sets uh, that allies and partners can come together to compete and defeat these threats across the maritime environment. So I'm very thankful for His Highness for putting it together and allowing me to participate. Bahrain's business-friendly environment is on a steady path towards sustainable economic diversification and growth, thanks to a series of measures which encourages international investments, security and prosperity. The kingdom is a well-established and trusted and transparent through the regulatory environment. The market is actually pretty constant and it doesn't change, but being in Baidik with uh, our brothers here, uh, and I call brothers, not competitors, because as you see, we are all uh, having, you know, we have the same uh, probably enemy. But, and, uh, and honestly, it is uh, very important to have such events in, uh, in, a, in, in, in our region, I would say, uh, just to actually coordinate and uh, see where we complement each other. We actually need to capitalize on, you know, our, our strengths and experiences as countries because uh, we have a long way to go to actually be independent in the defense industry. It is deeply connected to the international financial market and hardwired for globalization. It's good to satisfy our local need. I mean, uh, yet with the vision of Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman, His Majesty, and uh, I think uh, the, the vision stated that by 2030, we, uh, we will reach 50% out of the local demand. 
so you can imagine where we are. One of the main goals of BIDEC is to get officials from all military sectors to come together and exchange expertise. First of all, we have to make sure that in our alliances, we understand that we have to have common strategic interests. So that's one of the major points. I think another is the interface between the military and the political level. So we have to have military leaders who can communicate well with their political bosses. And we have to have at the political level the ability to do the things the military can't do for itself, like shape the narrative, as we were talking about this morning, the public message about what's going on and why and the rules of engagement if they're discussed and so forth. We want to protect our military from having to do a lot of that. This is Sarah Break for Bahrain International. In a press conference held on the sidelines of the Bahrain International Conference and Exhibition 2017, a deal was announced for the purchase of 16 F-16 aircrafts worth $3.8 billion U.S. billion between the Royal Air Force and Lockheed USA, part of the U.S. military's foreign dealings as part of its ongoing cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain. In this regard, Bahrain is the first country in the region to acquire this advanced generation of F-16s, which is the fourth generation. The first batch of this transaction will be received in 2021 and will last for three years. The military naval and parachute demonstrations began today as part of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017 BIDEC. The demonstrations taking place at the Salman port showcase marine defense mechanisms, weapons, battleships, and the latest methods of landing with a review of the fast boats and their air support. The land demonstrations at the National Guard headquarters in Sakhir focus on showcasing tanks, armored vehicles, and their handing, rather handling of off-roads and the ability to control them in different circumstances, as well as the ability of armored vehicles to maintain stability, in addition to demonstrations of shooters using the latest weapons. BIDEC 2017 held the first shooting demonstration today as part of the interactive off-site activities to entertain visitors. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Bahrain's first tri-service expo covering air, land and sea presented a brand new opportunity for industry vendors to showcase their latest weapons. The shooting demonstrations which took place at the Bahrain National Guard base allowed visitors to test new firearms and ammunition on a purpose-built shooting range from Colt, Reiter, Stark and Caracal along with other participating manufacturers. Today the demonstrations here will begin with our um We'll have some firing demonstrations of various weapons from various companies to showcase their capabilities and to have a chance to sell their products, along with, of course, the vehicle demonstration here, where many vehicles from many companies will come here to our um, range here to show their different capabilities. Actually, for me, I see that it's very important because uh, this uh, uh, buy deck will give us a chance to showcase our wealth of experience and share it with the other companies and the other armies of the world. That's, uh, that's uh, regarding the exhibition. And uh, regarding the conference, I think it's more important because it would give the people of experience and the countries to come here, share their experiences, and inshallah come up with a uh, different perspective on how to counter the terrorism and the many events happening in the world today. 
Companies showcased their latest firearms and ammunition on a purpose-built shooting range alongside the military vehicle demonstrations. Delegates, visitors and military personnel had the chance to test new rearms on the purpose-built indoor and outdoor shooting range on Bahrain National Guard grounds. Today, we, uh, Colt from uh, Colt USA in West Hartford, Connecticut, was invited to participate in a live fire demonstration here at the Bahrain National Guard shooting range. Uh, we were able to bring our Colt uh, Carbine M4 uh, A1 to demonstrate in, uh, to the BNG, the BDF, and all end users here in Bahrain. Now, I've been to uh, several conferences throughout the past six years uh, worldwide. I'll have to say BIDEC is the first show that has uh, really uh, allowed the vendors and OEMs as well as potential end users to properly demonstrate their product and services in real uh, time and demonstrations uh, outside the venue. Well, this is the first tri-service event that Bahrain has hosted, uh, which is land, sea and air. And this forms obviously a very important part of the land aspect of it. So the weapons that are tested here today are weapons that are most relevant to the market and the Bahrain market. The important thing to remember is that the BDF has requested these ranges because they want the officers and the people here to test those weapons. Um, and it's those weapons that will form the next generation of, uh, for the uh, military in Bahrain. Bahrain. Bahrain military in the past has gone to other events to try and test these weapons and even then it's looking at them and not testing them. Um, so testing these weapons, the feedback comes from the officers all the way up, uh, which is very relevant, a very good way of doing things, uh, which we're very, very proud of to present here with the Bahrain Defence Force and the National Guard, of course. The grounds are made up of six outdoor shooting lanes up to 100 meters and six indoor shooting lanes up to 25 meters. The demonstrations featured a VIP viewing area available for delegations. Visitors will be able to access the grounds in Sghir until the third day of the exhibition. The demonstrations was one of Bidex 2017's off-site activities, entertaining visitors and allowing vendors to showcase their groundbreaking weapons, also highlighting Bahrain's aspirations in forward thinking when it comes to armed forces. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Following the announcement of the 2017 government forum, the Cabinet Affairs Minister Mohammed bin Ibrahim al mutawa highlighted that the forum will provide an important opportunity to review and assess the government's strategic goals and priorities built around addressing citizens' interests. The Cabinet Affairs Minister also noted that by identifying the future goals of sustainable development in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives, the government once again demonstrates its commitment to enable a modern and dynamic economy that facilitates private sector growth and high-value opportunities. He also spoke about the range of topics that will be covered during the forum, addressing that this year's event will shed light on the extent of achievements made under the current government action plan 2015 to 2018. In addition, the forum will review the range of measures that followed last year's forum designed to develop Bahrain's financial infrastructure and public services sectors. He added that government awards will be issued during this year's forum to recognize the outstanding performance of several government departments. The awards include the Educational Excellence Award, the Customer Service Excellence Award, and the Government Best Practices Award.